Link 2012. Hello everyone. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. I, I know I am. Uh, I've recently gotten back into Minecraft and it's been quite a blast. I've actually realized that one of my big passions here with Minecraft is actually map making. So I'm going to be doing a lot of more map making um, in the upcoming weeks with my time off. And I'll be making some tutorial videos for those of you that are map makers yourself. Way back in 1.8, I showed you guys how to basically make it so that way you could make custom mob sounds in Minecraft. A lot has changed since then, and it can be a little bit scary to get into command blocks nowadays, so I'm going to try to simplify this one. Uh, we're going to use between two and one command blocks for each sound here, so it's very, very simple opposed to the 10 plus you would have to do way back in 1.8. So let's say we're on a map. We're trying to make a custom mob right now. We're trying to make a ghost. So this is our, my poor excuse of a ghost. <laughs> Please forgive me. But right now he's kind of boring. If we hit him, he doesn't have any custom sounds. If he hits us, he doesn't do anything. And so we want to modify that. And the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that your mob is spawned silent. So right here, I, you see how I've added the silent tag to my summon. You don't need it and I'm going to show you guys a workaround for that in a second year but just bear that in mind especially if you're trying to add other mob sound effects like death and whatnot all right so without further ado let's get into it so the first thing you're going to want is you're going to want a let's go ahead and do it over here you're going to want to put yourself a repeating command block facing this way and basically you're also going to want a redstone block right here to make sure that it's constantly activated so right here what we're going to type is an execute command. So we're going to execute at, at E, and then you're going to want to type the type of mob that you're looking at. So in this case, we're looking at a husk. Now, if you wanted to add some custom tags in here, for instance, you can go ahead and do that. But for now, we're just going to do it for all husks. You know, it's going to depend on your map. And then we're going to go on to if. And this is basically going to test for specific entity data or really any other variable we want. In this case, we're going to go for uh, data entity is basically going to test for entity data at E type equals husk and then we're going to want to do a limit of one because we're only testing for the nearest husk um, you might even want to put distance in there to make sure that you're making sure that only one husk has its data collected all right so there we go so now we're getting the entity data for this guy and we're going to type in a little bit of magic right here we're going to go hurt time 10s and this is an nbt tag that all mobs have it basically tells you how long they've been hurt for and so 10s this is the moment you hurt them they get this tag and it'll start detecting this so at this point we're going to want to run our command so now we hit click run all right now i'm going to click done for now because the next part of this is on you what you got to do is you got to go find the custom sound you want for your mob so you do that there should be a link in the description to all the different minecraft sounds but the gist of it is you go through, you find a play sound that sounds good to you, and then you're going to go ahead and pop that into the command block right here. So I've already got some sounds made up for us. And so the one I want to have for when our ghost gets hit is this one right here. Let's go ahead, plop that right in there. So now our mob should play that sound when we hit him. Let's go ahead and summon him. There we go. Just like magic. This guy is now screeching when we hit him. <laughs> it's quite eerie, but that's sort of the effect I was going for with this mob. All right, so just to review quick, quick here. So we're going to execute relative to this husk, grab the data for its hurt time. And if the hurt time is 10, then it's going to go ahead and play this play sound command. Now, you might be wondering, well, Link, what if I don't have the sound disabled? What if we have this situation right here? I, I want his ambient sounds. I want his natural sounds, his death sounds. But I don't want him to make that nasty husk damage sound. Well, you're in luck. I'm going to show you guys how to remove that. So I'm going to go ahead and troll middle click this command block. That's going to copy the, ent the data within the command block. You'll see how it says plus NBT right there. I'm going to go ahead and plop that down. Now we're going to change this to a conditional chain command block. And what that's going to do is it's going to make sure that the command block before is always going to be active for this to activate. And we can go ahead and clip always active right there. It's going to decrease lag a little bit. Um, and also only activate if you have this redstone block here. 
So now I've got this. So we're going to go through and we're actually going to use a different command because it's the exact same command here in order to execute the command itself relative to the entity that's being hurt. So we're going to go ahead and hit stop sound at all. And then we're going to go, actually, what you, if you want to do it too, you could also do stop sound at the nearest player or at players within a certain range. It's really depending on what sort of effect you're going for. And then we're going to go find the sound that we want. So this one's going to be under hostile. Oop. Hostile. And this one's going to be Minecraft, I believe it is, entity. Entity dot husk dot hurt all right perfect so now this guy should always be activating so now it's going to stop that sound right as it happens so we will no longer be hearing that nasty husk damage sound perfect so there we go so now i've got a husk that does that i'm actually going to go back into this command block and modify this again silent 1b that way this guy's going to be silent once again so another thing you might want to do is have this guy sort of sneer at you or do some sort of spooky sound effect when it hits you. So if we'll look right here, if this guy comes at us, whacks us in the face, nothing special happens. And we'd really like to have that happen. So we're going to go through and add a little effect for that too. So once again, we're going to go ahead and use that command block we control middle clicked from earlier. We're going to go ahead and plop it back down here. Um, and we're going to make a few modifications here. We're going to go all the way back down. So we're going to execute relative to all these husks. All right. So we're going to go data once again. And we're going to go look at entities. Entity. And we're going to go look at the closest player. Now what we want to make sure is check to see if their hurt time is not 10s this time, 9s. Now the reasoning for this is basically for some reason hurt time 10s doesn't exist for the player. Uh, I've noticed this way back in 1.8, but it, said it seems to, I'm not sure if it's a bug or it's just the way the game handles it. Regardless, just make sure you put 9s, not 10s on this one. And then you're gonna wanna click run again, and then you're gonna wanna do your play sound. So once again, I've got a play sound whipped up for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that right there, paste that right on in. So now, if I go back into survival mode, when this guy hits me, he does not do a sound. <laughs> All right, mistakes happen. I'm pretty sure I just need to replace this command block. One other thing that I forgot is that you are going to want to make sure to do it at P whose distance equals no less than one. So this way, it's going to make sure that it's grabbing only players that are really close to it to make sure that you're not getting the hurt sound like if you're a thousand blocks away this guy and you just happen to get hurt this guy isn't going to play that sound on you so make sure that that distance equals dot dot one which basically means if he's within the radius of zero all right let's go ahead and see if this guy's working now come at me all right what am i doing wrong here <laughs> it's troubleshooting once again the player's within two blocks Let's go ahead and give ourselves some saturation. There you go. So actually cancel that. <laughs> Just make sure that your radius is properly adjusted and you should have a custom mob now. As I said earlier, I'm just doing the hurt sounds for today. If you guys would like to see me do death sounds, which are actually absurdly complicated, as well as passive sounds, which actually aren't too tricky. Let me know in the comments below, as well as if you have any further questions. Uh, once again, this video was made for 1.15. I believe it works, I think it's 1.12 onwards. That's when they changed the execute command. But if it doesn't work in future Minecraft versions, let me know so that way I can update, make another video. Thank you all for tuning in. I hope that this will be helpful to you. I'll try to leave a link to the commands as well as all the relevant content in the video description. Till next time, don't forget to contribute and make the most of your day.